Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakondash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole for elect. Shalom, Mr. Brother Abijah, with another lesson. Through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Lord willing, is edifying. This is a little quick hitter. And the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, changes not. Okay? The Lord changes not. All right? The Lord is not going to, you know, say something and mean something else. The Lord is not going to, you know, have have multiple meanings for, for the things that he says. All right? The Lord is going to say what he means and mean, he means what he says. A lot of Israelites seem to believe that the things that the Lord has said or that, that the Lord had men write down according to his his heart um, has changed or that it has, you know, a, a, a different meaning than it has or, you know, they think that the Lord is, um, you know, fickle. They think the Lord is, is no, man, the Lord is, is, you know, the Lord is, man, <laughs> you know. The Lord is, okay. And whatever He is, He is. And you know, if you under, if you understand it, you understand it. Okay. So the Lord is not gonna, you know, the Lord is not gonna be what you want Him to be. Okay. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty three, for the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints, man. Okay. The Lord is not the author of confusion. Okay, the Lord is the author of this book. Okay, this book called Life. All right, the Lord is the the director of this movie, and the Lord is not gonna, you know, have, have things happen in a way that's 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 causing confusion. Just just because you may not understand it, don't mean it's it's uh, confusing or or that is, you know, something that's um inconsistent. You you know the Lord the, the scripture said what man, the Lord said, His thoughts are above our thoughts. Okay, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are His thoughts higher than our thoughts and His ways than our ways. So just because your your human mind, your mortal mind, don't understand the way the Lord does things, that don't mean the Lord is confused or that He made a mistake, or that the Lord, you know um, you know that He 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 said something but He didn't mean it. No, the Lord knows exactly what he wants. And then what he wants, he, he's going to get. What the Lord speaks is going to come to pass. He's not going to change. Okay? He's never going to change. And he hasn't changed. Exodus 3 and 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The Most High of your fathers have, have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, what is his name? What shall I say unto them? So this is Moses talking to the Heavenly Father saying, you know, when, because the, the Lord sent Moses to speak to, to men, you know, to speak to the nation of Israel. And, and, you know, Moses is saying, like, you know, when I go unto them and they ask me what your name is, what I'm, what, what, what do I say? Verse 14, and the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. Okay. And he said, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me have sent me unto you. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father, is the only one that can say his name the way he said it. You know, the Lord said his name is I am. But when we speak of the Heavenly Father's name, we say he is. Because the, the Heavenly Father is a masculine entity, okay, a masculine spirit. So it is he, okay? And the Lord said, I am. So that, that means he is. Okay, meaning everything. The Lord is everything. He's the beginning, the ending, you know, the, the all-powerful, everything. The Lord is in control of all things, all, all entities, all spirits. He is. So when we say Yahweh, Yahweh is Paleo-Hebrew for Yah, meaning He, you know, Hawa, you know, it, it means he, he is or He exists, okay, or He is to be. All right? And the Lord said to, to Moses to tell the children of Israel that his name is I Am. So when Moses goes to tell the, you know, 
the nation of Israel, he's going to say he is sent me. Verse 15, and the Most High said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the power, the power of your father, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob is to me. This is my memorial forever. And this is my memorial unto all the generations. It didn't say a, a, a thousand generations. It didn't say some generations. It didn't say most generations. It said all generations, meaning forever. Forever. That that is the Lord's name forever. He made that clear. The Lord didn't just tell Moses his name. He said, But this is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Okay. So the Lord is not going to change, and that includes his name. The Lord's name changes not. He has one name. He has many titles, but one name. Okay. Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Okay, when the Lord created the earth, it was made to be inhabited forever. When the Lord made certain animals, even the animals that that so-called went extinct, okay, the Lord made those animals to to be forever. They're gonna they're gonna be back, but the Lord is gonna bring them back. The Lord does things how He wants to do it. Okay. The Lord does things exactly how he wants to do it, even, even beyond our understanding. Continuing on, nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. Yeah, because it's perfect. The way the Lord does what he do is perfect. You can't add to it and you can't take from it. And the Most High doeth it that men should fear before him. Yeah, you're going to know that the Heavenly Father is, is the all-powerful and that he's in control of all things. And that you can't try to counsel the Lord. You can't try to, you know... Um, tell the Lord that he he missed the spot or that he he forgot something or that he made a mistake on something. No, what he did what he was what he did and it's perfect in his eyes and that's all that matters. Okay. Malachi chapter three and verse six. For I am Yahweh, I change not. And this is the heavenly heavenly Father speaking Himself. And the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Okay. All right, so the Lord said again, "For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed." If the Lord was was uh you know in unstable or inconsistent, if the Lord changed, the nation of Israel would be through. All right, the Lord made promises that He would not do away with the the, the nation of Israel. He would not altogether destroy, utterly destroy the nation of Israel. If the Lord changed, he would have he switched up uh, what he said, and he would have did it. Because we went off. We, we, it would have been justified the way we did, you know, the things that we did, okay? But if the Lord changed, we, we wouldn't have been, you know, it, it, you wouldn't even be able to say that the Lord changed. But the Lord did, the Lord does not change. So, therefore, he have remembered what he said. The Lord, he said he's going to have mercy on his, on his, his chosen people. Which is why we still here today. No call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. Let the water Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. First Samuel chapter fifteen and verse twenty nine, and also the the strength of Israel. This is Samuel speaking, and also the strength of Israel. He's talking about the heavenly Father, because the heavenly Father is the strength of Israel, and also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent. Okay, the Lord is not going to lie because he's not a, a man. Therefore. He's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna repent. The things that he says is what he means, you know. The Lord's yea is his yea, and his name is his name. He's not gonna turn back from what he said or what he had uh, created the way he created it and the reasons he created it for. Okay? For he is not a man that he should repent. Okay? So the Lord changes not, man. And this is what we ha we have to understand. You, you Israelites out there that, that claim the Lord changes, that he's. You know the Lord, um, the Lord that is, is going to do away with His nation, or that He, you know, is going to do away with the two thirds, or that He is going to have mercy on all flesh. That's a lie. The Lord changes not. The Lord hates the wicked, and the Lord has a chosen people, and it's not going to change. The the you know, our spot as Israelites has not been given to another nation. Okay, the Lord the, the Lord does not change. The Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, 
Bahashim Rakakodas, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, peace, blessings, and safety to the whole for elect. Shalom.